Hello everyone. Um oops. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyway, so this would be the eighth episode currently, and I don't entirely know what to do. So I was thinking we do just a lot of exploring because I can really walk off very far away and be okay because I, um, because I don't have, like, I'm just gonna look and see what I can think. Okay, so, chest plate, this one has 229 for right now, so, okay, so what are these pants? 214. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what it was. You can't make silver up. Okay, what is it? 230. This probably does. Oh! Okay, so none of those turn into stuff. Okay, Nick. Okay. I know you can make stuff. So this was has 120. This also has a I was thinking we can make some armor so that way when I go out, um, I don't have like, okay, so I'm guessing that tin is way less because I have a tin chest plate in here, which I'm actually going to bring with me, but because, so this is 230, so. Man, none of these create anything. But, well, we'll just stick with the armor we have. And I'll go ahead and make a backup set. Put this, actually, hold on, no, I won't. Because I have some copper. And you're probably like, oh my god. Let's hurry up and move already. And I can promise you that I would also like to do that. But so we'll just do, we have these extra sets here, some extra sets, so, so now we have extra sets. I want to bring an extra sword, because my sword seems fine, an extra um, axe, um, not an extra, oh. I have an iron axe, and then I would like to bring a pickaxe just in case. So, one, two, three, and we'll take this, and we'll just go ahead and make another stone pickaxe real quick to bring with me just in case. So, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna go adventure. Now, it's great that my spawn point is extremely close to my, um, extremely close to my house, um, shall I say, it's nice that my spawn point is extremely close to such a pretty terrain that I decided to build my house in. That's probably a better way to describe it. So, I really want to get, um, diamonds, and I only have really one reason for that, and that's because there are some really, really pretty um, really pretty wood, uh, different kinds of woods in, um, in the nether, and I need diamonds to get to the nether, and so, um, that's really the main reason I want diamonds. I also want diamonds because I want to make great axes, um, it'll also make very good pickaxes, um, that I can get, um, that I can get other stuff for, and that I can get other ores with too, so, you know, I've got multiple different reasons for why, it's just that I can't, because if you guys are like, okay, well, we don't want to watch you mine, because I don't really think you do, because it's very, very boring, so I was thinking, well, if you guys want to, to see me. I'm hoping that I can get obsidian from a chest, by the way, if you're wondering, um, from like a village and stuff. But 
if you guys are like, because obviously I want to record as much as possible. Um, I don't want to leave anything. No, I don't have blueberries. Blueberries are gross. Like, I'll take what I can put. Um, I don't like blueberries. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like blueberries. Um, anyway, so... It's just like, if you guys are okay with me doing some stuff off camera, then this series will go a lot better, um, we'll get a lot more done in less time, and then you don't have to watch the boring stuff. Um, so, if you are like, okay, well, um, I don't entirely care to see you mining, uh, I don't want to see you mining all the time, but I do want to see you going to the nether, and I'm fine with, even if you do die, I'm fine with seeing, um, I'm fine with you not recording you going, um, in the caves and stuff, in the mines and other things. And if that's okay with you guys, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to try and record it, even though no one wants me to. That's just not, not a smart idea. I don't know why you would do that, but, yeah, so... If you're like, um, yeah, I don't care if you, uh, mine off camera, and honestly, I'd rather you mine off camera, then I will. I might try and figure out how to put a poll on Twitter, but, um, I don't entirely know how to do that, so. Guys, I got willowwood! <laughs> Willows are probably one of my favorite trees. I even wrote an entire book about them. It's finished, by the way. It's on that pad. It's very, very short, but I like it's extremely short, and it's very weird. It's a very odd book, but it's pretty good. I, don't know, I might be absolutely horrible, and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's it's great of a book, and then you read it, and you're like, this is absolutely horrible. Why did you say that? Oh my! I've skinned almost three birch trees. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so... Staying away from the mining thing. Um, so I want to figure out... I want to get those trees, but I want to get a ton of different trees. Um, so any, like, a Natura tree that I pass, or Moshe's tree that I pass, or whatever, um, any tree that's not normal that I pass, I'll probably... Um, take because I went all of them and I'm also trying to walk away from these mobs. Oh, right, I, I forgot. But yeah, so really hoping that I can get. Oh, look, it's another mountain. So basically, any tree that I don't have, I'm going to chop down. And the reason that I chopped down two willow trees is because um, even though I did get a lot of saplings, I didn't get very much wood, and I really wanted more willow wood, so I wouldn't have to wait for it. So obviously, this isn't my house. I don't think so. At least I don't know. It very well could be, and I'm just like, well, it isn't because I love wood. I'm just gonna, well, no, it's not because it, it definitely looks different. But, um, we're gonna keep running past all these trees because, I mean, I'm surrounded by them at home, at my home, so I have a lot of those too. Although, I will take this, the Malaberry, Malaberry. I don't know if they want me to pronounce that as Malberry or a Mallowberry or a mallow berry, and I am very, very confused, and I wish I knew the answer. <laughs> I'm going to take some cotton seeds, which actually look purple. Alright, there we go. So, one thing that I have read, um, or saw on the video for that, is that with the mount, or, um, with the cotton seeds, you do actually have to, is he going to shoot me? Okay, buddy, that's it, that's it. No, nope, you're dead. Got a raspberry bush. 
that's awesome. This is considered warm. I would figure to find them near lava. Like down here. This is warm right here. I mean, lava's real warm. But, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, in Minecraft, you can actually fall into lava. Like, this is just one of the extremely unrealistic things about Minecraft. Is you could actually fall into lava and get out quick enough and just walk into water and you still survive. Like, what? No, that doesn't make sense. But it's Minecraft logic. So I have multiple soccer trees. And the reason that I actually kept dropping down more is because I wanted more saplings because they're very, very, very pretty trees. And you may or may not know, but I have a bit of an obsession with the Japanese culture. Like, a lot. Um, and not even just Japanese culture, but basically like all of Asia. Like, China, Japan, Korea. I guess that's not really all of Japan. You know, those are like a lot of places that I, I am very, very obsessed with. I'm very obsessed with Korean and Japanese and stuff. And you um, may be like, okay, um, well, Korea has some problems right now. I'm just going to say it like that. But, like, I mean, if you think about it, Korea is not the problem. Like, if you go to Korea, it's not the people that are mean. Maybe it's some of them, but it's not... Not every person there is absolutely horrible. It's like, if you think all of Korea is very bad, or I'm very big on North Korea, um, South Korea is like, I don't really, I've never really uh, learned much about South Korea, but I have learned a bit about North Korea, and I am very, very, um, I learned stuff about their flag, and like what their flag means and stuff. I know, I'm a nerd, but um, I'm very big on Korean, Japanese, and um, Chinese cultures, and I know that sounds maybe a little childish, but I am, because part of the reason has to be anime, is, I mean, I am a major anime person, I knew it was going to catch me, dang it, stupid thingy, um, <laughs> so part of that love comes from a book that I read, part of it comes from uh, anime, and part of it just comes from I like this kind of stuff. And um, my real love for uh, Korean, Korea, and stuff came from a book that I read. And then I'm majorly obsessed with um, Japan because of uh, Pusheen Cat, which I don't even know if that's Japanese, and now I kind of feel bad saying that, but I don't know if Pusheen Cat's actually Japanese, but Pusheen Cat is absolutely adorable, and Japan makes the cutest stuffed animals, like Japanese stores and stuff, they have the cutest stuffed animals of Pusheen Cat, I swear, like, they're the cutest things ever, and then anime, and, you know, by the way, if you have any good animes that you would like me to watch, please put them in the comments. I beg of you, please do, um, because I'm really looking forward to watching some more animes. The only problem is that I don't really entirely see any animes that pique my interest. Um, I found a few, um, but the only problem is that I can't find anywhere to watch them. The only place that I see is um, websites that you have to pay for, and not even that sometimes. Like, all of them uh, are like, you have to go and buy it, or like download it and get like DVDs. And the thing is, is I don't know if they sell them or not too, because obviously I'd be obsessed with Japan if I were Japanese, right? Well, I'm not, obviously. Um, but I am, like, I don't live in Japan, and it's sad, and I really wish I did, because wouldn't it be great to live in the place you most admired? It would. It would be great. I can promise you that. I can promise you that it would be great. Because it would be. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I'm dumb. I'm just not, I'm just talking. I'm not even really like saying anything specific. I'm just talking. Um, but yeah, so... I, uh, am just 